Hey, it's Tim here. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about enhancements to animations in Tableau 2020.3. Now, one of the things I've been doing is to try and improve the performance. And so it's actually going to work a little bit better on server and on, and on, on I can't say that, server and online. Uh, and also in terms of the features, they've also improved the way it behaves specifically with step lines, but I'm actually not seeing that behavior uh, probably because I'm still using the pre-release version myself. But I'm gonna do this here in the web window so you can see how the performance is on an actual server. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead to uh, Superstore Sales, a data source that I've got on my Tableau server instance here. And um, I'm gonna create a new workbook so we can do all of this in web edit. I'm not going to be opening desktop at all. You tend to get better performance on desktop. Um, so that's why I'm doing it on the web, just to see what it's like. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is bring in sales and then I'm gonna bring in um, some information about those sales. So probably going to bring the product name. So we get lots and lots of marks onto the visualization. Now this looks awful, but let's correct that by putting profit on the columns, right? So we now have this chart. You might've even built this if you've done some of the uh, fundamental training from Tableau. I'm also going to bring in a filter because I'd like to be able to see how this behaves with filters. So you can see here, I've got the two filters. And the last thing I'm gonna do is bring in the color for the subcategory, because that again, makes it slightly more complex uh, for the charts to render. And I'll also maybe put the quantity on size so I can see the volume of sales as well. And I'll even chuck in some opacity in there just to try and crank up the amount of information that we've got here um, as much as we possibly can. I think the only other thing I could do is potentially uh, bring the customer name into the mix to create even more data points on the visualization. So there we have it. We got 10,000 marks. You can just sit here on the left-hand side, very, very bottom left-hand side. It tells you how many data points there are in the visualization. So what I now need to do is enable animation. So I just go here to format at the very top. And then if I hit animations and then switch it on, you now have animations enabled. And again, I'm doing this in web edit. So it's, <laughs> it's already having a little bit of a think on these 10,000 marks. Um, uh, I think it's just the cursor actually hanging. So actually it's done whatever it's done and the cursor is just hanging on that spinner. So if you don't move your mouse, you think it's still doing something, but actually it seems to be fine. Now, if I go here to um, the duration and style, I think these are what I'm gonna leave them at. I'm gonna leave them at the defaults. And we're just gonna start playing around with this. Um, what I might do as well is just uh, add in a, a uh, category uh, filter. So if I just bring that in here like though, I'm used to the little option to uh, show the filter directly from the data pane, which is why I was looking for that. And then uh, what I can do is just, um, uh, where is the option to show the filter? Is it, oh, there it is. Um, it's web edit is kind of weird because you can't really control much of what's going on. So I can't even change the order of these filters. I think potentially if I bring it up to the top here, uh, I can't even do that. I think it's just the order that it's, <laughs> it's just the order that's in there. Um, so now watch happens. Now watch what happens as I unfilter some of these. Now we should see improved performance. It is slightly better. Um, I've got 10,000 marks here and you can see it's doing a slightly better job of uh, sort of animating things in and out. Let's just take office supplies back in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce sort of the outliers that we have in our data set. You can see that's almost instantaneous. And again, here with the slider for sales, let's bring that in. That kind of gives us a little bit of scope. If I just keep going down with profit and just really kind of narrow in on a particular range here, there we go. That will just help spread this out a bit more. Now, as I bring in more sales, um, you should get sort of um, the right hand side moving out, but there's actually not that many transactions. So let's just leave it at that. And now this is kind of cool. You can see that it is actually more responsive. I have to give it that. Um, I wouldn't have typically done this um, in, uh, in in web edit myself. I wouldn't have taken the risk because the performance is a little bit of, a, of, a, of an expensive thing to do. As I select these also, this is, this is quite a nice actually. So yeah, this seems to be working quite nicely and it's quite responsive. I'm, t I'm clicking, I'm clicking things. You do have to wait a little bit longer. I'm not gonna lie. It's not the same as just being able to uh, add and remove things, but actually I think once it starts to cache some of this responses, it's a little bit faster animating those things back in. So if you see here, let me take an untick furniture. It's a little bit faster to respond 
uh, or maybe I'm just making that up. Um, it's one of those things where perception can can sort of be relative, right? Relative to what you've seen before and also uh, what you haven't seen before. So that's pretty much the enhancements. Now, I haven't had much luck with the step line feature. This is also supposed to have improved. I'll just show you what I mean in terms of not having much luck. Uh, I just put sales on here. I'll change this to a month uh, to give it sort of a, a decent time frame. And you can change the path here to a step line. Now, I have um, animations enabled already. If I put this on to filters, click all, uh, hit apply, and then OK. You don't have to hit apply and OK. You can just hit OK, uh, show filter. And what's supposed to happen is as I uh, remove office supplies, I can add this didn't happen before. So it's clearly something good is happening uh, for this demo. So here you go. Step lines now behave a little bit better. Um, in terms of this animation mark as well. So yeah, this is a little bit buggy, obviously. I try, I honestly tried this uh, 10 minutes ago and it didn't work. I tried it twice, it didn't work twice. I opened a new window and now here we are on the final cut and it's working perfectly. So there you have it. Um, this is how the step line feature has also been improved to perform a little bit better. It was buggy before and wasn't sort of adhering to the animations. So that's pretty much it for Viz Animation Enhancements in 2020.3. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out more videos in the playlist uh, and be sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content that we're going to be producing over the coming months.